everybody. So I am playing Kiss the Mordog. I've gotten the Mordog Smooch avatar before, but there is a second avatar called Flea. It's awarded if you are in the top 50 on the Kiss the Mordog high score table when trophies are awarded daily. Right now the high score table has users at both 5,900 and users at 35,000 on the table. So I should aim for 35,000, which is five kisses, six more togs in circulation. We're gonna see if I'm going to do it. I have gotten the avatar for just selecting four correct in a row. So this is taking it to the next level. While I do this, I'm gonna be eating some chicken tikka masala, get my Sunday wine and just having a good time. So thanks for joining me. Let's, let's do this. I wanna point out that this video is sped up to as much as 999% of the original speed at points. So if it looks like it's speeding pretty fast, that's the max speed that I set it up to. Also, there are times where like I stop and just like eat a bit for a couple minutes. So that's cut out. But besides that, the rest is retained. Later in the video, I do start doing stuff in the right hand window and that messes up the time tracker. But because it's sped up to 999%, it felt like a little ridiculous to go back and remap that time to a different location, especially when there is no time actually present on the screen. So I'm sorry about that. I wish it wasn't the case, but it would be incredibly tedious to go in and map those out at the end after whatever happens happens, there is a static time that I update to the top of the screen. This game avatar is kind of like the Lever of Doom avatar where it exists just to take Neo points out of the economy. It's completely chance. In this game, the chances of getting the avatar are so low, it's completely chance. And that's why I decided to take it on because I'm not more or less particularly apt to achieve it than anyone else. And also at this time, I'm trying to deplete the amount of Neo points on my account, but do it in a productive way. And getting these kind of avatars is a productive way to reduce the amount of Neo points that you have. I had no idea how long it was gonna take to do this, just like the lever of doom or lever of doom avatar. I would have put a tracker on my Neo point total, but I do get random events throughout the duration of this video. And at a certain point, my train of thought gets lost and I start doing things in that second window. And some of those things incur currency. I was pricing things in my shop between loadings of the Mortog. So unfortunately, we don't get a full image of how many Neo points I spend. Immediately after I set this video live, I presume a lot of people will try to do this and so your chance of getting this avatar might be best at the beginning of next month. Your chance of getting any high score avatar for a game is best on the first of the month right after the high score tables have been reset and then if there's a review process it takes an incremental day or two depending on when the avatar is awarded. If the avatar is awarded at end of day at site rollover, which is at midnight Neopet standard time, then you will get the avatar after that rollover period. At the time of making this video, it is three days after filming. Where is it? Four, yeah, it's three days after filming. And since then, I've started working on two other videos. I'm really excited about them. One is about Fly Rising and one is about Indomita. However, I saw that with my most recent video, the Akara video, it did not get as many views or comments per view as the video previous. And I think that just has to do with like the novelty of the return wearing off. And I think that instead of shifting to one video a week, I'm going to try to prioritize something more like two videos a month. You guys have to keep in mind that uh, the views aren't that important as far as judging the quality of a video. That cost per view of AdSense is how that is decided. And I am trying to think strategically in the sense of what gives me the best engagement, what's the best bang for my buck as far as production is concerned, and how do I produce the content that I will be the most proud of. And weekly uploads are really hard to meet all of the criteria because I want to make stuff that I'm proud of. 
and that Akara video is something that I'm proud of. And I wanna make stuff like that, but doing it on a weekly cadence isn't necessarily possible. So this is a shorter type of video that I can produce. We'll see how it goes, but I'm planning on just making like two long form videos this month and seeing how that makes me feel. And I think that's something that I could keep up with. Like I said, one on Indomita and one on Flight Rising. And then if I can film just little small things like this in between, that's a bonus. I can't believe I did it. Holy heck. My score is reviewed, but I did it. I did it. <laughs> ah! Yesterday, I recorded the Kiss the More Todd scenario and I received this message saying that the score has been accepted and it's been reviewed and accepted and if I qualified for an avatar, it's been awarded. Now I'm checking the high score table and I am in the top 50. Uh, the top 50 is all the way down here at the bottom of the chart and my username is right here. It just occurred to me that I should show you. Here is my avatar list. I scroll all the way down and Flea is not there. so. I do not have the flea avatar. Check in again tomorrow. Yesterday, I received a Neo mail from the Neopets team saying that my Kiss the Mortog score had been accepted. Let's go ahead and check to see if I have the avatar now. Let's see. There it is. So I have that avatar. It took two days after I, uh, achieved the score to get the avatar, but I did in fact get it.